All right, so this book is Amy's Balancing Act, and it's written by Bjorn, uh, but it is got pictures by Laura, right? And Laura lives in Melbourne, is that right? So let's start. Amy loved delivering the mail. As the only postwoman on the island of Energia, she was proud to always be on time, even through the wildest storms. For years, Amy had worked with her pack horse. You know what a pack horse is? So. Where you pack stuff onto the horse. Yeah, it's a horse that allows you. I have horses, but if I pack stuff on them, They'd start bucking and throwing and biting. So it's a horse that allows, lets you train to, to carry things. You're right. Anyway, the pack horse's name is Clyde. She had become a master at guiding his reins. So there she is with Clyde working for the post office. All right. But Clyde had grown old and his reins were fraying. It's a lot to carry for an old horse. Amy wanted a new horse because horses were all she'd known. But the people of Energia wouldn't allow it for Clyde's hard and heavy hooves had torn up the earth. We need our post, explained Farmer Juniper, but we also need clean air and healthy soil. My horses right now, because it's wet, have completely destroyed my paddock. Amy was in a bind. You deserve to retire, she confessed to Clyde, but how can I carry all this mail by myself? Think how much... Clyde had on his back. You wouldn't want to have to carry that, would you? That would be hard and heavy. Then, one boiling summer's day, Amy's worst nightmare came true. Clyde collapsed. Poor Clyde. I can't go on. It's just too hot, said Clyde through a panting breath. Amy tried to gather herself. Everyone's relying on me, she whispered to herself. I must find the power to make these deliveries. Looking around, Amy spotted Sol, the goanna sunbaking on a rock. Sol, I'm an astronomer, and Sol is the nickname for the sun, just as a little side. Soul, can you help carry some parcels? Of course, replied the cheerful Goanna. All this sunshine is giving me lots of energy. Elated, Amy quickly moved some parcels off Clyde and on to Soul. When his load lightened, Clyde rose to his feet. For the rest of the day, he and Soul balanced the load between them. I like your light-footed lizard helper, said Juniper. The air is much less dusty when he makes the deliveries. But when the sun went down, soul faded. I'm terribly sorry, Amy, but without the sun on my back, I don't have the energy to go on. Frustrated, Amy tightened her grip of Clyde's reins. But just as Amy began unpacking Sol, she heard Gale, the albatross, soaring above. Hello, Gale, called Amy. Could you use some of that wind power to help us with our deliveries? Do you know what a gale is? A gale's a really, really strong wind. Spelled differently, though. You can count on me, sang Gale as she swooped down and lifted a giant bundle into the sky. All help uh, day and night, as long as the wind's blowing. And so Clyde and Gale shared the mail between them through the night. The next morning, Sol rose with the sun 
and took over all of Clyde's load. Amy was getting comfortable with these new helpers. But in the afternoon, a storm rolled in. Clouds blocked the sun and zapped soul of energy. Wind gusts blew gale this way and that. Amy's nerves were on edge. She was so distracted that she almost didn't see Snowy the glider. I can help, offered Snowy. When Soul or Gale have too much energy, they can go ahead and store some mail in my tree hollow. Then, when they get tired, Snowy continued, I'll pack the mail in my pouch and glide down to make the deliveries. Amy could hardly believe her ears. That's exactly what I've been missing a way to balance the team's energy levels. And so, as the storm raged on, Sol, Gale, and Snowy shared the load between them, each contributing in their own way. As the storm cleared, Amy was transformed. I wished I'd known earlier how powerful teamwork can be, she thought. Juniper was delighted to see them. Thanks for bringing my supplies through the storm. You're working so well together. Relieved, Amy removed Clyde's reins. Thanks for all your years of help. Now you can retire knowing that the deliveries will continue. Glowing, she turned to Soul, Gale, and Snowy. I am so proud of you all. None of us could have done that alone, but together we're unbeatable. Recharged with confidence, the team now travels across energy every day. Soul, Gale, and Snowy tread softly on the earth and balance the load between them. Amy guides the way with free waving hands. And the mail is always on time. Just in time for the bell. <laughs> <laughs>